Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to adjust the user interface of Fimura 10. Uh, so I saw some question uh, coming from my subscriber asking how to uh, to edit video using Fimura 10 on two monitors. So, uh, so they want to have the preview windows on the second monitor and uh, the first um, and the timelines and video effect and uh, and so on on the first monitor. By the way, it is not possible to do that in Fimura 10 because uh, Fimura 10 is designed for beginners and uh, we don't have that option, uh, which is very common in other professional video editor. By the way, if you are editing video on a small screen like uh, my laptop, for example, uh, we can do some uh, adjustment uh, right inside the program, uh, but maybe it is not exactly what you are looking for. Uh, by the way, uh, just uh, go ahead with the tutorial, okay? All right, and uh, and now I'm editing uh, a video using Fimura 10 on my uh, laptop, and uh, I didn't connect my second monitor here. Uh, by the way, I love uh, editing on a bigger screen, so that's why I just connect this one to to a bigger screen. And in Fimura 10, uh, here is the preview window. You see on the on the right side so this preview window you can uh, press this button to view full screen okay so press this one so it's easy when you finish editing and you can press full screen uh, to view you know, view your video it's better and you can press escape uh, to come back to normal okay so now it here and you can also drag your mouse drag your mouse to the edge of this one uh, so this is a line uh, that separate the preview window and the timeline. You can click here, uh, left click here, and then you can move down here to increase the, uh, the size of your preview window. And you can do the same uh, to enlarge it uh, by click here and also uh, resize it. Uh, drag it to the, to the right to resize the preview window. Okay, when you do that, uh, you have a bigger, bigger area for the video effect uh, here. So and here at the at the left side, uh, you have all the important uh, category. Uh, for example, you click on media, you have all the media here. Well, uh, you click on audio, you have all the audio here. So this is the display area for this uh, this category on the on the left. And you can hit this button to hide this one. So you can click here to hide the the left uh, folder. Okay, the folder. I mean, hide hide all the folder on the left, and you can click here to get it back. And another option, if you are editing video uh, on the timeline and your timeline is too small or something like that, you can also do the same. Uh, just uh, drag your mouse here and then click left click, and then you can move up uh, to have a bigger timeline. By the way, on the timeline there are, there are many tracks, right? And you can also also adjust the the track track high up on the timeline by uh, right click here and then open uh, adjust track high here normally i would choose uh, normal if i am editing on a, a bigger screen uh, but for small screen like, like my laptop or something i would choose small so you can uh, click here uh, so this is a small and you can right click here and go back to normal so it's bigger so that's how you can just uh, organize the timeline and of course you can just uh, click here and then move it back to this area okay so and also click here to resize it to this area so this is normal when you're editing video on a laptop right and uh, for the text editor it's the same for example this text if i i right click uh, i'm sorry and it is the same for the text editor. Uh, when you double click on the text editor, you will see a pop-up uh, menu here. Okay, this is the basic text editor. Normally, when you uh, when you need to see the text, uh, you need to scroll this bar and to see everything here. Uh, by the way, you can do the same. Just move your mouse to this edge and then uh, left click and then you can just uh, extend it. So now you can see everything here. Uh, maybe a little bit more uh, to the right so you can see everything here so nothing is uh, hiding under this text box right but the preview window uh, will be smaller okay and the same uh, when you click on advanced uh, to go to advanced text editor yeah, let, no, wait a second so here's the the advanced text ed text editor when I want to do something precisely uh, then uh, I need to click on this 
button to to go full screen and we have like this otherwise i can uh, click here to go back and also remember you can also resize this window now uh, for example you can um, move move your mouse to uh, to this edge and then uh, left click and then you can um, resize to minimum size so this is minimum size and you can also enlarge it uh, by clicking here and drag it to the right and also click here and drag it down to make it bigger okay and you can always um, press this corner and then resize it to minimum size so it is normal right okay and then we are going to click close and now I'm going to uh, put it on a bigger screen so you can see it better okay okay now I'm on a bigger screen by the way we need to open it to full screen so now when we are editing video on a bigger screen things become easier okay let's click ok to go back and then uh, you see a lot of effect here uh, if you, we go to video effect and then we can see all the effect right here so it is very easy to see the effect and we can also resize it normally I would keep this size and also uh, move the timeline up here so I can see everything on the timeline here and also I would change the, the track high to normal uh, this is uh, what I normally do uh, when editing video in Filmora 10 so it is very easy uh, this is the effect and then this is the title I can see all the title preset and and also here is a preview window so it is very easy here you can see custom and title and I can see what I'm going to use in my video okay so that is just uh, some quick tips on how to uh, resize your user interface or adjust your user interface in Filmora 10. I hope it is just useful for a beginner. If you are new here, consider to subscribe to my channel. And thank you very much for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.